in the heat of the moment, the color red. Red is right. And white. White is left. So that tire is going to be a little bit bigger. Yes. Could mean being a fraction of a second faster than the other guy. So for the Indianapolis 500, each tire on the car is different. You look at the two fronts and they look about the same size. They're cured in the same mold, but they're very different in construction and the compounds are also different. So we have a right side compound and a left side compound. If you think about a car going around a turn on an oval, you're turning left. And the lady that makes all of these drivers fast is Kara Kristolik. I have been an engineer for Firestone for 22 years, and about 18 of those have been with the motorsports team. Every tire is a different size, a different compound. Their weight is different. And there is tread on these tires, but it's not the type you're accustomed to seeing. The part of the tire that becomes an issue later on in the race is the part that shreds into tiny round balls. Oh! That becomes what drivers and team motors fear most out on the track, marbles. The kind that can end a race or qualify an attempt in the blink of an eye. The tires with the red sidewalls are softer, typically faster, and they don't last very long. Every race car is given 42 sets of tires to use across the entire month of May. And only people that touch these tires are Firestone staff. Before they're mounted, that's right. So our team here at Firestone and also Performance Tire, who does all of our mounting and balancing, we're the only ones that will do the mounting of the tires. Once they're inflated, then we give them to the teams, and then the teams are now responsible for making sure they have the right air pressure in them, making sure they're on the right positions of the car, and all sorts of aspects related to that. Firestone is committed to a sustainable tire for the race. Every race tire is made from virgin rubber, but after 50 or 60 miles of racing, the tires are removed from the rims, analyzed, and then shredded. We also don't want it to end up in the trash can or in a landfill. So we get them back and we actually use them as a substitute for sustainable material that would go in, let's say, asphalt or other sources. So we'll actually grind them up and then use them in other applications that would use virgin rubber instead. Most years, the technology changes. Kristolik says the race tire used this year is exactly like the one they used last year. Now for the cost. The tires are leased, which means you can't buy them from Firestone or from the teams that are using them. And we can't share the, the details of the lease with you, but they're, we'll just say they're a little more expensive than the tires that you put on your passenger car. More than 5,000 race tires will be used in Indianapolis for the 500-mile race. With photojournalist Brian Manuel, Richard Essex, WDRB News.